I'm the Group HR Director at Standard Chartered Bank, a global financial services institution, 60 countries. We employ 100,000 employees, um, 85, 86 of them are uh, permanent full-time employees, uh, 120 nationalities, so it's a, it's a really, really diverse business. Bill Winters, our chief executive, spoke about embarking on a big cultural transformation. Um, when we started the cultural transformation, the big question we asked ourselves was what kind of an organization we wanted to be. The word was human. Um, so we said we want to be a, a, a human bank. When we launched human into the organization with the client stories and employee stories, it became clear that human was necessary but not sufficient. And for that, we took a decision that as opposed to 10 wise men and women deciding what the behaviors are or the culture is in corporate head offices, we will co-create it with the entire organization. Using our employee survey into the organization and asked our colleagues to tell us what kind of culture is needed to deliver on our purpose. We've been able to prove to management, to board, various stakeholders, that as you empower colleagues in the front line, you change the relationship from parent-child to adult-adult, you get much better quality data insights, but more importantly, we get alignment, right. and, and, and that's been really interesting with this piece of work. You shape the, you, you, you shape the behaviors of the organization and the expectations. So we do the classic engagement measurement, but what we do with the employee surveys is every year push the boundary to do something extra. And this year we said we will do 100% transparency. So any employee could not just click and see the results of the team, they could see the results of every team in the organization. To really start comparing about their team from other, other parts of the bank. Right. And that has been bold because actually what it does is it empowers everyone to engage in the process, not just of giving the feedback, but also looking at the data that's coming out and being able to compare it to various comparator groups within right. the organization. It creates a broader context. It's not just my team, it's the entire bank. Absolutely. And to your point about treating employees like adults, what we're saying is we're sharing some sensitive information with you and we're entrusting you Absolutely. to use it effectively and to protect it Absolutely. on behalf of the bank. We are working with our employees co-creating with them mm -hmm. the future that we all want to be part of. Right. Uh, and, and again, there's a level of openness and transparency on it. And I absolutely believe that that's result to some of this resonating with our workforce much more right. Right. than if it was a corporate memo from right. the head office. Exactly. This idea of evolving employee survey mm -hmm. To not make it once a year event, but right. do it around moments that matter exactly. in an employee life cycle is where we want to take it. If you ask your senior leaders how they would describe the value of the survey within Standard Chartered Bank or what it means to them, what would they say? We have benefited a lot from the expertise, but also benefited a lot from the Perceptics network. And I can't stress that enough. Uh, you know, the majority of us. Um, look at financial services. Financial services has had a traditional way of doing these things. And the way we've tried to push the boundaries in this space is actually learning from the best that's out there. And uh, the team at Perceptics has been quite valuable to us in A, getting access to that information, but also helping us with those networks. The dialogue both going into the survey and post the survey to me is as important as the actual survey. Thank you for sharing the great story of Standard Charter Bank. Thank you very much.